Hey Money Movers, welcome back to Millennial Money Moves with Uncle Larry. What's up, good people? <laughs> um, yeah, okay, you guys know what this is. This is where we do our question and answer, most likely. Man, it sounds like a robbery. Y'all know what this is. You know what this is? like, you guys know what this is. <laughs> I mean, the we money. went from making money moves <laughs> to stealing, stealing money. money. <laughs> you know what this is. I mean, the money. <laughs> it's because I'm from Chicago. You it just jumped now? out. It jumped yeah. out. <laughs> you guys know what to do. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Okay. So, some of these questions are mm -hmm. from my Instagram. Sometimes I do polls on there where people okay. can ask questions. I'm still trying to convince them to come back to Instagram. I got it. I got it. I got to make it happen. What's the update on that? Are you going to do it? I am. I'm going to need your help. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just, just as much help with you. I just need the help getting back out because I went on the, to Instagram the other day and it looked so different from when oh, I was on Oh, yeah, it. the update. And then I noticed I got like 600 new friends. And I'm just like... Oh, my god! So I went to go like make a post. And I couldn't even find... like. Yeah, they changed like, it. Like, they changed everything. Yeah. But I got I to gotta make it happen. Yes. I'm sorry, good people. I'm going to be out there. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes you guys mm -hmm. are on like asking me questions. But you're looking for him. And I'm like, <laughs> I'll get him on here. I'll work on it. I she's, promise. She's going to help me. I'm going to be back. Yes. On, on IG. <laughs> Okay, but one of the first questions mm -hmm. someone asked was, can um, DACA, like, recipients, you know, like the dreamers, dreamers can they yeah. invest? Uh, yes, you can invest anywhere in the world. I, I have people on, on the channel that's from Europe and uh, Italy. Someone hit me this morning from Italy. I mean, all, all over the world. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I, they could... Um, you know, they just have to provide their legal yeah whatever from wherever they're from, wherever their home is from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they can absolutely. Yeah, because yeah. I will say that's something I see with people from other countries. Yeah, they're like, oh, what about people in the UK or Australia with different? Yeah. And I'm like, well, maybe you can't use what um, brokerage accounts we use, but that doesn't mm -hmm. mean you can't invest. Right. Some of them, they can. Some, some, some brokerage yeah, accounts some are, yeah. countries can. Yeah. Cause a lot of people invest in the, in the New York stock exchange from all over the right. world. Yeah. Yeah. So, so just look yeah. up what is available in your country. Honestly, right. I don't know. And neither do I. There. I get that question all the time. We just, we we... just kind of Google <laughs> Yeah. cause just... we don't know. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't want to say anything where I'm not familiar, you know, with right. how the platform is. Yeah. Um, but again, either way, we're not financial advisors, so <laughs> maybe contact one in your in your country. area. That's Neither do I play thing. one on TV. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. After my seventeen seasons of Grey's Anatomy, I'm oh, convinced. Yeah. <laughs> I'm convinced I can save some lives. They keep killing people off, and they keep coming back out here. And I, I keep heard. watching. Yeah. I'm the real sucker. It's, yeah. <laughs> and someone asked, "What's the best portfolio allocation?" That's kind of a broad question. Best portfolio allocation. So, I'm I, hopefully I can answer your question correctly. So, if you're thinking about, you know, where should I have my money, that mm -hmm. type of deal, <clears throat> there's a lot of different areas for you to have your money. Um, it's about diversification when it comes to a portfolio, and I know a lot of people don't believe in that, but go ahead and put all your money in one stock and make that one stock tech. <laughs> And if you didn't learn your lesson from March, you you just can't can't be taught. Yeah. <laughs> because tech got hit hard. Uh huh. In March because it was down, and 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 there were people that had all of their money in tech and they were bleeding. I was just moaning. And you're not diversified. I call it I call it balancing the boat. There's times to load the boat, but you have to also keep the boat balanced. Mm -hmm. So, if you got a hundred dollars, I would say. $25, $25, $25, $25. Do, do the math. If it's 1000 250 250 252 you should have four to five different stocks. The more money you have, I believe, the more stock you should have. Now, it comes a point where you can't manage them all. I've been doing it for over 25 years, so I do have a lot of stock in a lot of different yeah. areas. But I know how to manage them. I know how mm -hmm. to set my stop losses. I know when I'm up on this one and that so I can manage it but if you if you have over a thousand dollars it's okay to have five different stocks and just break it up right, right. have some and 
you know, when the market was going down and tech was tanking, I was in the banking. And because banking, it, my money was safe. So mm -hmm. I had some banking stock. I used to have shipping stock. I used to have oil. I don't have shipping and oil anymore. You can have tech. You can have FANG, which is Facebook, Amazon, uh, F-A, Facebook, <laughs> Amazon, uh, I forgot what the N is, and uh, Google. Google. Uh, Netflix and Google. Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. You'll hear that on the business channel all of the time. Those are techs. Uh, FANG. And then um, you got EVs, electric vehicles. Charging stations and EVs are under the same umbrella. You got um, 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 techno uh, not technology. You have uh, bio like companies, pharmaceutical. pharmaceuticals. That's a yeah. whole industry in itself, pharmaceuticals. Mm -hmm. You got travel. You got airlines, cruise ships. You got hotels. You know, so there's a whole lot of different sectors that are, are you can diversify yeah. in. And, you know, I think one thing I'll say on that mm -hmm. is when I started, I was kind of like, you know, you know, people do deep dives right. on companies, but right. it's like, how do you know which category to start in? For me, I kind of mm -hmm. started with companies I knew. Right. Like, I think the very first thing, it was only a fractional share, but mm -hmm. the first thing I bought a share of was Tesla. Yeah. Because I, obviously, I hear about Elon right. Musk. I know what Tesla yeah. is. But there's also seasons to be in certain stocks. Yeah. Heavy. And there's certain seasons to take your profits and get out of certain stock. Mm -hmm. So like right now, so for instance, I do all of my summer shopping mm -hmm. in the fall. Oh, For yeah. the next year. It's smart. Because me and my wife, we do what we call balling on a budget. <laughs> <laughs> we, I get my clothes. This is my, this is my favorite jacket. This is my investing jacket. It is jacket. a nice jacket. This is my investing jacket. Mm -hmm. Those of you that know my page, when I put this on, I mean, I'm, I'm finna do a deep <laughs> dive, right? But I always get my fall, I always get my next year's summer clothes in the fall. And so stock is that way. You have to look forward to be successful in stock. Mm -hmm. So what I've been, what I was loading up in, in, in November of last year. Is what you predict. Post COVID to... stocks. Yeah. Reopening stocks. Golfing. Airlines. Yeah. Cruise lines. I was investing in that back in November of last year. Mm -hmm. Because I got it dirt cheap. Yeah. Okay. As a matter of fact, in August of last year, I was buying Norwegian Cruise Line. Oh, and yeah. Yeah. I was, and now I'm up really nicely. In it. I bet. Yeah. yeah. So Things that's what you have happen. to think about. Yeah. And again, like my portfolio looks drastically different than his. I just started. So don't, don't feel that you can't start if you don't have a bunch of money to put into everything. Just start yes. with what you can. Yes. That's why I'm a big component of fractional shares. Right. I, yeah. I do like for you to have a broker that a uh, brokerage that has fractional shares. I love I actually like Fidelity. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people out there have Robin Hood and that's fine. Use fractional shares to get in. But I can tell you right now, I spent so much money today sitting in the parking lot <laughs> with my Weeble app. <laughs> because Weeble is if you want to be a, uh, um, and I and I am an influencer, let me put that out there. But it helps you to become a better investor. Mm -hmm. It does. Robin Hood kind of babysits you. It's like a starter kit. It's a starter kit. Yeah. It babysits you, but we will actually help you become a better. Yeah. And because of the president's speech, I was sitting in the parking lot just buying stock, buying stock, buying stock. Money I had been saving. Yeah. And I spent so much money. I spent. Over ten thousand dollars in the parking lot to take, and I'm up on all of it. Wow! Because I was putting it in the charging stations mm. and um, EVs because he was laying out what his infrastructure his, yeah, bill, his and trillion that's, dollar exactly. infrastructure bill. Exactly, and yeah. so that's what I wanted to, to share with you guys. You always have to be looking forward. What's about to happen and how can I make money on it? Investing What's going to happen next month? Exactly. Yeah. And so um, I'm going to probably, this is going to blow your mind, everything that I bought, mm -hmm. I can literally sell tomorrow. And I'm up wow. nicely on it because mm -hmm. I have those same stock in my long-term portfolio. Mm, gotcha. I have ChargePoint, uh, Tesla, NEO. Yeah. I have those stock in my long-term portfolio already, and mm -hmm. I'm holding those for three to five. I'm holding those for five years. Right. 
But sometimes I'll get a short term portfolio and buy the rumor, sell the news. Mm -hmm. I'll I'll ramp up based on what I think people are going to do. They're Mm going to run it up. And then I pop it. Yeah. So I'm an investor first and then a trader second. Most people get in the market, they just trade, 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 and they're they're missing out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so I hope that gave some more detail to what started want, off as a broad <laughs> question. Yes. Um, but I'm gonna one, teach. Every time I open my mouth, I'm 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 gonna, yeah, I'm gonna teach. That's the whole point. That's that why is. I like this kind of like question answer conversation yes. where we're all kind of participating. Right. Um, <laughs> I feel like we're in like a class and this is like a Zoom room. Like everything's online now, anyways. Um, one we're making more... money moves, but go exactly. ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Another question I had. Um, there's a couple more on here, but okay, one was: Should you use money from a loan to invest? No. Yeah, don't do that. No. <laughs> no. Do not invest. With your mortgage money, do not do not go to a bank, pull a loan out, and invest. Mm-hmm. No. You're paying interest on a bet. Mm-hmm. That's not investing. That's gambling. Yep. There's a difference. Never do that. I don't care who tells you to do that. There was some, I almost said knucklehead. Well, I'm going to go knucklehead. <laughs> that went to the bank during the game stop. Uh-huh. Oh, no. Yep. Got a loan. <laughs> And put it in the GameStop and bought GameStop at the absolute high and it bottomed out. Mm. Now, whose fault is that? He should have been watching our YouTube channels. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and if you know investing, you know GameStop is like a, a, a 50 pound kid holding up a 200 pound <laughs> weight. Eventually, that weight is going to crush you. Yeah. So somebody's yeah. going to get, you know, left Someone's holding gonna get the hurt, bag. And we don't want yeah. that to be any of you guys. Yeah. Guys, stay away from those type of stocks. And um, this is another kind of quick question, but what's insider trading? Oh, insider trading is when someone works for like on a trading floor Mm -hmm. or they work with a company. Yeah. Let's say you have a friend that is on the advisory board for Tesla. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm. Or you you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what's going on with the stock. They've got like the right. the dirty and then secrets you, of the company. Exactly. And yeah. then you turn around and tell somebody else. Yeah. And that somebody else make a trade based on what yeah. that is inside of trading and the person that you told mm-hmm. can go to jail. Yeah, it's illegal. It's illegal. By the way. Yeah. That's actually what Martha Stewart went to jail for. Yeah. Yep. Which was wrong because them hedge fund managers do it all. Do it. Way. You know. Not that I'm a big Martha Stewart fan, but <laughs> That was just bogus. But anyway. Yes. Um, what made you... This is a question that someone mm-hmm. asked for me, but I think it would be interesting if both of us answered it. Okay. It was, what made you decide to start investing? You go ahead first. Okay. I want to know. Um, well, partly him. <laughs> he got me into it. But, I mean, it was something that I had been hearing about i mean you always hear about stocks and bonds and i i had some friends who were finance majors but i i studied science in school so i just never knew like i was like Mm. yeah well what is what is a stock what is a bond and i would kind of ask and people would be like oh there's just a lot like to get into there's so many details and i was like yes but what is it and i just got really inquisitive and i knew um People in my family like mm-hmm. invest, and I knew people around me who invested. Right. And I was like, you know, well, at the time, I thought I wanted to go into medicine. And my plan was, when I do, I'm mm-hmm. going to have some money to uh, invest mm-hmm. in the market. So right. I need to figure out how to invest. Mm-hmm. And so, I mean, when we started this whole thing, he was mm-hmm. looking for someone who, what exactly were you thinking? Someone young. Young like, yeah. and green. And someone who was willing to learn. Mm-hmm. And I literally wanted to make an example out of them. Yeah. Like, I want you to be financially sound and successful. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. you're going to wind up helping a whole generation of people. Exactly. It's kind yeah. of a journey to financial freedom. And I thought mm-hmm. it was the perfect opportunity since so many people my age are starting. I'm 22. I don't know if mm-hmm. I've said that before. A lot of people my age are looking to start investing now. And so I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to take me, someone who didn't know anything before I started 
not I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything about the stock market right. before I started right. this channel. And so it's kind of a journey for both of us to go on both of us. It's not one on one. All of us to go on together and just see how you can start from not knowing much, not having a lot of money to invest to yeah. eventually making money and learning a lot along the way. But it's honestly I've been enjoying it so much. Like not yeah. just making videos about it, mm. but investing in deep mm. dives and finance and studying. Right. It's just opened up a whole new set of doors for me and information. Can I you see say, your future now? Oh, yeah. It's just that's the whole deal that I like about mm -hmm. investing. You actually begin to see, wait a minute. If I stay on, start on this path now, you literally can retire at 45. Exactly. It got me. <laughs> you know, really I know a young couple future. that's retired in their 40s. That's crazy. Yeah, and they're retired. That's the like, goal. Yeah, and it's just like we didn't have this when I was young. It wasn't available. The tools weren't available. Yeah. And our parents didn't have it. Right. You know, they yeah. just didn't have access to this mm -hmm. knowledge. And so, you know, that's why it's important. That's why I'm so passionate about getting as much of this information out to you guys as possible. Yeah. There's way more money than I can ever make or one person could ever hold. Like, it's an ocean. It's not a fish tank. It's an ocean. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, y'all, come get this money. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I mean, I feel like both of us grew up, like, in church and the whole mm -hmm. thing is helping other people. Right. I mean, my dad's pastor, grandparents, mm -hmm. mom's a minister. Mm -hmm. that's, and that's, a lot of people talk about how the church wants to take money, but I really want to also help spread positivity and a message that that's not it. everyone is like that. You want to be, you should be spiritually well, physically well, and financially well. Yes, being well-rounded. Yes. But yeah, that's my spiel mm -hmm. on how I got started. <laughs> what about you? You know... It, you know, I said I've been investing for over 25 years, but I actually made my first investment in 1991. Oh, wow. So it's actually been, but it was a group situation and I didn't have control. I uh, didn't like it, right? Yeah. So I got back out and it was a whole couples thing. Mm -hmm. And then what happens was I was in sales mm -hmm. and one of my clients, I went to his house. He had a Big house, big brick house. It was an older gentleman. He was the coolest. You know, if I was white and old, <laughs> I would want to be this dude. He was yeah. so cool. He had the smoking jacket, the pipe, his house. He had this big, big beautiful house. And then he had this big wow. glass uh, uh, room in the back, floor to ceiling windows. It's like, Lawrence, come in here. So I'm in there pricing uh, some work to be done mm -hmm. for him. And the bill, when I gave him the bill, it was like, it was like $25,000. And this was about, this was a little over 25 years, about mm -hmm. 28 years ago. And he says, okay, I'm expecting some things to move and I'll call mm -hmm. you back. He was just so cool. I was like, okay, and I'm going there. I'm like, he's never calling me back. Yeah. He called me back in a month. Wow. He says, I'm ready. And I says, well, you don't mind me asking what? What do you do? What do you do? He says, yeah. oh, I had some investments that come through. I made some moves, and, and uh, so wow. I was like, with what? He said, the stock market. Mm. And I said, you made this kind of money in a <laughs> month in a stock market? Yeah. He's like, Lawrence, sit down. <laughs> and when he when I sat down, that man poured into me for three hours. Whoa. Yeah, and he taught me so much about investing. Then he called me back. I went mm -hmm. back, and he gave me all of these investment books. Uh, and I still have some of them upstairs. Wow. And he's just like, I want you to read these. Yeah, that's another thing yeah. I want to start doing. Yeah. Um, I have been reading a couple of books about yeah. investing. And mm -hmm. I want to share like some main takeaways that I get from these books. Yeah, I think that's just useful. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you guys what I'm reading as I'm reading it. Okay. Probably either here on my Instagram, because that's... I think you can learn so much from books. I love to read. You can. Yeah. And there's a lot of good material out there, a lot of good videos out there. I'm still, I'm going to do another course. I'm going to actually put together a course and it will be a, a, a paid course. Uh, but it would be something that you could just pay once and download the entire course. Yeah. But I'm building it because it's taking a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And I'm building it, and I just want to, and I want to make it affordable. It's not going to be ten thousand dollars like these people yeah. are charging and all of this stuff. I want to make it very affordable, yeah, so people can have it because you value stuff you pay for. Stuff you Definitely. don't pay for, you don't value. People mm -hmm. don't value. But I want to put it together 
in a nice professional manner. Yeah. And I, I want to spend some, some money to make it. I think investing in knowledge yeah. is one of the yes. best investments you can make for and, yourself. But really, all of it, if you look on this page, just about everything you need is here for free. It's true. It's yeah. just look at all of the videos, go to the old videos, and we got a lot of videos how to open an account, how to do everything is free. Mm -hmm. And so you could really just take advantage of the tools that you have. Yeah. But uh, this gentleman told me the power of the power of 1%. I was mm -hmm. like, what is that? So, you know, he let me know that with $25,000, you could literally be a day trader. You can buy and sell the stock the same day. Mm hmm. 25,000. So he had way more than 25,000. And yeah. he just, he was like, Lawrence, if you just make 1%, he said, if you have 100,000 in, in your, your account and mm -hmm. you just make 1% a day, yeah, you're making That's good still, money. Yeah. That's $500 a day. Yeah. And I was just like, I started thinking about that. So mm -hmm. his, his thing, his, his thing was, I'm not trying to hit a home run. Yeah. I'm just trying to make 1%. Make money, yeah. And, uh, you know, and I just like, I just learned so much about different ways of investing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. And I feel like that kind of ties in with like risk tolerance, which is, is something I could maybe talk about later too. It is. And risk tolerance to is, it really needs to be according to your age. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. It really needs to be. So when you're young, you need to be aggressive. Yeah. Right. You've got the time. Exactly. So you're not really into don't have your whole portfolio into ETFs and and, and real like mm -hmm. that type of things. Um, um, uh, you you want to be more risky when you're young. Yeah. When you middle age, like myself, <laughs> you want to be balanced. Yeah. You want to have some long term less risk, and I'm still risky. I'm more risk because mm -hmm. I like making. Two and three hundred percent. You can tell from just, his yeah. the stocks he talks yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, I page. like I like because I I got one stock. I'm up five hundred and fifty percent. Yeah, I didn't get that <laughs> by being you know safe I mean, invested mm -hmm. in just QQQ. All right, but the older you get, you get less risk and you keep your money safe. Yeah. Okay, and so that's how you should do it. Then you do so. I have a family member that I'm taking care of their portfolio. Mm -hmm. Only one. <laughs> I'm not taking care of anybody else's portfolio, but there's one family member and they're up in age past retirement in their mid seventies. And I said, Hey, how, when do you think you'll need this money? And they were like five years. I said, so I'm going aggressive three. And cause I know how to put on stop losses and everything. I'm yeah. going aggressive th three and then we're going to do passive the two. last two. And I'm glad I did I hit the portfolio was up and we did it in a Roth IRA. So, um, uh, the, the, as much as we could. Yeah. And, uh, so, but that portfolio is up, uh, 58% now. Wow. That's nice. In a year. Too. Yeah. Chilling. Yeah. He's happy. I'm excited to do yeah. like a year and check in and see how yeah. things yeah. for myself. For if, my own. if you're making more than, 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 than 8%, you're doing good. If you make it 10%, you're doing good. Everything else is gravy, you know. It's it's if you're making 12, 15, 20, 30 percent, you're killing it, you know. That's good to know. That it was is. a good tip. You're really killing it. Well, that was all the questions we had. Cool. I hope you enjoyed a little like story time plus yeah. a question and answer. If you guys stayed around and watched this far, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, don't forget to click the link below and download the Weeble app. Yes. Deposit $100 and get two free stock worth up to $1,850. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you could trade hours be slow in the Chicagoland area here. I started yes. trading at 7 a.m. I'm sorry, at 8 a.m. Oh, yeah. 8 a.m. I'm so sorry. I'm jacking this up. 5 a.m. I was like, oh, that's 5 a.m. <laughs> in the morning. I need some coffee. <laughs> so I could start trading at 5 a.m. all the way until 7 p.m. In Chicago and in New York, it's 4 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then in California, they do their own math. Yeah, <laughs> they can do their own math. That's, that That's where we're at by the exactly. end of this video. <laughs> All right, good people. Please don't forget to, if I didn't say that already, like, Click. subscribe, Click. and turn on the notification Click. bell. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs> Peace.